everybody, it's Anna, my trusty sidekick Mookie. Today, I wanted to talk about veganism because I actually was a vegetarian and then a vegan for just over two years. A lot of people are really healthy being vegan, so me not having that experience shouldn't stop you from being vegan. I became a vegan because I've always loved animals. I really felt that I did not want to eat them. I was diagnosed with celiac disease. The thing about gluten is that a lot of people think that gluten is just something that's in like wheat, but it's actually the incomplete protein found in grains and every single grain has some amount of gluten. Even rice, rice has a really low amount of gluten, but it has gluten. So really a gluten-free diet is actually a reduced gluten diet unless you're eliminating legumes and grains. And a lot of people that have a gluten intolerance can tolerate foods that have less gluten. It's like the percentage of gluten that's in something is what may or may not trigger some kind of allergic reaction. Basically for me, I've found that having a lot of protein, lean meat, and getting lots of vitamins and minerals by taking supplements and juicing is what's best for me. My dietary tract was not happy and a lot of that had to do with getting too much fiber in my diet. So I think I think really diets are very specific to individual people and you should pick the diet that you feel healthiest having. Like I still love animals and I just want people to know that I didn't quit being a vegan because I wanted to go murder chickens and cows and everything. It just was right for me to start eating meat again and to have eggs and all of that. Nestle makes a lot of vegan products because they've determined that they can tap into a vegan market and make money selling people vegan food. But that doesn't mean that Nestle is a good or ethical company. They've been found to traffic children in Africa and have them as slave laborers making chocolate and other food. I think when it comes to eating, being a really conscientious consumer means that you think about what you eat and the process of how it was made. And you can eat ethically without being a vegan. Vegan. If you buy fruit at a farmer's market and make sure that it's locally grown and you get free range organic meat from a farm, you're actually doing a lot because you're supporting small farming and you're not buying into the industrial food complex. And that is kind of more of the route of how I eat and what I want to do. But I realize that it's also very privileged to be saying like, oh, I'm going to be a vegan or I'm going to eat organic and get stuff from an ethically sourced farm because a lot of people are just struggling to make ends meet. Being able to decide that you're going to spend more on what you eat because it's an ethical standpoint, well, it's also not accessible for everyone. So I think it's wrong to judge other people based on what they choose to eat, but at the same time, every time you put food in your mouth, you're having a huge impact on the world and on global warming and on your own health. I think that a lot of people are vegetarian before becoming vegan. I think it's kind of the gateway to becoming a vegan. The vegan lifestyle really does prevent a lot of animals from being killed and eaten or treated really badly by the industrial farming complex. And if I just stop to think about how a lot of animals are treated. I feel sick to my stomach and I get really upset. When you become a vegan, you can shrink your environmental footprint because it takes more water and grain to raise cattle, for example, than to get the same amount of calories from a plant-based diet. Now with global warming and the just incredible fire seasons that have been had in California and Australia, a lot of people feel that becoming vegan kind of helps prevent some of the really negative effects of climate change. But I think aside from any of the ethical or environmental factors influencing veganism, it is a healthy diet. And for a lot of 
people, it really improves their health. If you suffer from an autoimmune disorder, many people feel that they can recover from it or live much better lives if they become a vegan. If you have an autoimmune disease though, it's not that straightforward. A lot of people start having symptoms, like for example, they could have really achy bodies and joints and feel very tired as though they have the flu, but like all the time. And in the process leading up to diagnosis, a lot of people are told that perhaps they're a hypochondriac. I think some people start seeking to change their diets before they even know that they have an autoimmune disease. If you're feeling unhealthy, one of the first things that you can change is your diet. And I think that it does make sense to become a vegan. I think that one of the biggest problems for me on a vegan diet is that a lot of mock meats, they're made from grains. Vital wheat gluten is an ingredient in some faux chicken. If you eat a diet that's really high in nutrients, if you eat a diet that does not have a lot of inflammatory foods, you're going to feel healthier, especially if you have arthritis or a lot of people that have MS become vegans and they see a significant improvement in their health. Being vegan, because it reduces your inflammation, it can really help support your autoimmune system and make it stronger. If you're on a diet that does not have a lot of refined foods or sugar or other foods that are really inflammatory, you're going to feel much better. The paleo diet, the Mediterranean diet, the plant-based or vegan diet, and the gluten-free diet have all been shown to help people with autoimmune disorders and to lower levels of inflammation within your body. I just want to try to eat the diet that is the healthiest for me and to think conscientiously about how my purchasing choices affect the world as a whole. At this point, I feel like I have talked so much about me and what I think about veganism and diets and all of this. And I would just love if you could share with me down below what your views are. Literally, no judgment. Bye, everybody. See you next time.